Yes, good morning and uh, thank you very much. A short introduction. I'm waiting for the slides. Yes, there's the German hub. Before I give you some short e examples on um, experiences made in Germany, I would like to give you a short overview about the background in Germany. So with a population of a bit more than 80 million inhabitants in Germany, we have RNI staff in total of almost 600,000, of which 300, uh, 350,000 are uh, definitely researchers. You see the proportion of female researchers in that, which is only 75,000. And um, most of the researchers are working in business, so more than 60%. And there's also the main budget uh, research budget, it's uh, a proportion of more than 50% uh, in business research. Oh, this is, uh, okay, fine. <laughs> it's the same slide again, uh, with a, a bit colorful. Um, well, this is definitely not my presentation. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, Anyway, there's, a, there's a, a raising awareness of responsible research and innovation in the German context. Um, if you look at the Eurobarometer, more than 50% of the population is interested in science and technology. And if you look at the German context and you Google uh, RRI tools, it's the Bond Sign Shop, our organization, but also our hub members, our hub partners, uh, like Fraunhofer Umsicht, or uh, Forschungswende, which is an, an association, um, as top referrers when it comes to responsible research and innovation in Germany. It appears at the part of the Science Within Forest Society activities and is mentioned there, but if you try to give a general picture, there's a growing interest among all stakeholders groups um, on responsible research and innovation but there's a clear focus on public engagement. A couple of activities run around uh, how to involve civil society, primarily, but also more um, and all stakeholder groups into research activities. Public engagement, and especially from, from our perspective, forms a key approach in uh, delivering responsible research and innovation, and what definitely we uh, happens is civil society organizations are extremely underrepresented in those committees that uh, set the research agenda. Uh, so they only have little or no influence. So therefore we say research agenda setting, uh, cooperative research with and for civil societies uh, in the RI process is necessary because we need to understand the views of civil society organizations. We have to listen to their needs and we have to consider their concerns and requests. But when it comes to um, responsible research and innovation and to implement responsible research and innovation in um, Germany, and I believe it's not just uh, the, the case in Germany, we have to think about barriers and we can talk about incentives. Uh, as any other hub in this RRI Tools project, we ran a stakeholder workshop, a stakeholder consultation workshop, and just to give you some uh, of the results we had uh, taken out of this workshop. And, and one is RRI is not really high on the business agenda. So when it comes to business and companies, it's not that high. And therefore, I'm really uh, happy to have uh, one of our hub members here who's working in this field, and um, it's, it's my colleague, and you might talk to him later because they offer innovation audits, for example, for small and medium enterprises. Um, of course, when, when it comes to, to uh, cooperation of different stakeholders, um, it's always the fear that there will be unexpected results. And um, I, I think if you, if you plan a research, dealing with unexpected results is a very tricky thing. So this is one of the barriers that might come up no, okay. <laughs> um, and um, one, one 
other element if you want to implement a more participatory activity, a participatory research, this is not really um, relevant for individual researchers' careers. But um, if, if you want to get more into responsible research innovation, if you want to offer incentives that it's more applied, uh, it has to come along with uh, respective tools and therefore we are here, we are working on responsible research and innovation tools and guidelines how to work with these tools. It has to be, uh, it has to be con um, performed in a way that responsibility is shared among all those involved in the research and innovation process and uh, what, what we are going to present especially here in this hubs event, it's learning from best practice and experiences others made. So, for example, how can um, cooperation between higher education institutes, research institutes, and civil society be arranged? So, therefore, I would like to introduce some, in a short way, some, some best practice we um, identified for the RRI Tools project, and these are just a few, and in the, in the presentation outside, uh, in, the, uh, in the hall you will find more uh, digitally displayed than just these three. First of all, it's one of, of our, uh, of course I refer to our hub partners uh, in, in, this, in this project, it's, it's Forschungswende. It's, it's a project that um, consulted civil society organizations on their um, needs for research, especially for policy uh, for research. So, uh, in the end of this process, th they developed, uh, they published a policy paper on CSO demands for new science policy in Germany, uh, which is uh, the first time that, that it happened uh, that uh, the, not only the major civil society organizations and NGOs were contacted and um, asked what, what their impression is how science research policy should change uh, in Germany. The second one is from our other partner uh, who work in a cooperation. Fraunhofer uh, is a research organization as is Helmholtz uh, or the Leibniz uh, Association. And they're right at the moment uh, on, on the way to develop a handbook for sustainable research with an information toolkit for sustainability and management and networking in non-university research organizations. I think this is a very promising approach that big, re not the biggest, but big research associations and organizations in Germany uh, are approaching uh, more than just one aspect of responsible research and innovation. And um, another example I want to present because it's from my own personal working background, I'm talking about sign shops. Sign shops are mediators between civil society requests and uh, research resources and uh, from our understanding they are a best practice in responsible research innovation because they live engagement with and for society. It's the blood uh, which Carlos has uh, demanded uh, before. Um, they are responsive to the civil society needs. They anticipate with meaningful openness because they listen to uh, emerging problems uh, on the smaller scale but also on the big, bigger scale in society. Um, by involving students in solving these problems, um, they one, one minute, you have one yes, minute. Yes, I'm, I'm almost finished. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, they contribute to education and of course the, ex the results are freely accessible. So what are we going to do in Germany? There are a couple of activities uh, on the ministry level. Uh, for example, um, Forschungswende and the, uh, the, the State Ministry of North Rhine-Westphalia for Education and Research. They are running a workshop on how much research do civil society organizations need. Uh, we will organize more uh, information events uh, throughout Germany in Berlin with different stakeholders um, to discuss research agendas in Germany. We will run uh, cafeterias, science cafes in Bonn sign shop just for an informal exchange on problems on um, which might show up on, on um, 
when dealing with responsible research and innovation. And of course, we will present our results in different international um, uh, conferences and activities. So thank you for your attention.